So while we are waiting for some people to come over, um, hi again, this is Big Chef Tiny Kitchen, um, and welcome to our cooking streams on Sunday. So for everything else, we will be reading again. Please don't get bored with me. <laughs> One expert excerpt from the 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. So we're just getting a short one from Law 29, plan all the way to the end. Uh, judgment. The, ev the ending is everything. Plan all the way to it. Taking into account all the possible consequences, obstacles, and twists of fortune that may reverse your hand, hard work, and give the glory to others. By planning to the end, you will not be overwhelmed by the circumstances and you will know, you will know when to stop. Gently guide fortune and help determine the future by thinking far ahead. There are very few men, there are the exceptions, who are able to think and feel beyond the present moment. That's Carl von Hoswitz, 1781. So again, hello everyone, and we are cooking this Sunday. Uh, first off, uh, uh, we are still waiting for people, uh, and I'm checking uh, if I would get some feedback. Uh, yeah, I have to mute this one. Sorry. Okay. So of course, before everything else, uh, to support the channel. Uh, oh, okay, the rice is already cooked. Anyway, to support the channel, of course, you can uh, buy us a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash naitolaito. So let us just give the mic a few adjustments. Uh huh. Pwede mo pa-play yung sa... Ay, ito na lang. Pa-play yung sa TV. Ay, kung mali na yung mic. Lakas ng mic. Maximum. Okay. Sige, I'll get some gain on the microphone. It's far away from me kasi. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for the feedback, Mel. I don't know. I need more gain. But the gain is agad na. Ay, the gain is not there. Ayan pala. Set it to 16. Sound check, guys. The gain is not there. Ayan pala. Set it to 16. Sound check, guys. Ayan. Is this okay? Can you hear my voice? Okay, thank you. Okay, so again, uh, you can support us by buying us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash naitolaito. Also, you can support us by uh, subscribing and following our Twitch channel, which is this one, uh, Big Chef Time Kitchen, where we do cooking and gaming videos. And also, you can support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, which is Big Chef Time Kitchen also with the TV at the end so and there we will be uploading our uh, live stream so that's a re-upload page and also highlights from gameplay and other stuff including in the future some more cooking videos for your entertainment so for now we are cooking for today we are cooking uh, tuna tinola so this was this was a recommendation and a sponsored uh, live stream by one of our community followers and community subscribers and our OG subscriber, uh, Poetic Y99. So Herschel, I hope you're here. I am waiting for you in the chat, but let's wait for him for a little bit. Uh, okay. So uh, I I came up with uh, another one. So I will show you. No, we will be waiting for Herschel first. So. So how was your weekend, guys? So it's a Sunday already, into Borzo Monday, and everyone's going to work again. Sad, including me. <laughs> hey, if o if only uh, we could work in the live stream at the same time, that would be great. But or at least a live stream full time. And cook, just cook every day, cook three times a day, a live stream three times a day. So, okay, uh, uh, you can see your house at Discord. So, 
I, we are just waiting for the people on our Discord. So, uh, Tinola stream is live now. So Herschel, I think, is still offline, so... Uh, I'm gonna send some images of our preps to... Our preps to... Uh, Kitchen Confidences Discord channel, so wait, uh, I think closer is still much better. So I'm just uh, sweeping our ingredients for today. And go to our Discord. Discord, Discord. I don't know if uh, why I am in my Showcasing. Okay, I am just sending uh, something over at uh, KC's channel so I'm just getting the link for this live stream and I think after that we will be good to go so how do I get my link my channel I smell like tuna fish so I just scaled the tuna a little bit that's why I smell like fish but just a little bit I'm gonna wash it later Gotta get my knife also. I don't know how to share my profile. <laughs> um, oh yeah, there we go. I can share this to a uh, copy. Okay, so let's see if Herschel is online and let's whisper okay i think we should get on with the episode while we are waiting so for now hi guys so for now, we will be showing our ingredients first. So, okay, so for the meats, we are actually uh, using tuna. So I ordered this from uh, one of our local suppliers here in Kubao. So let me just shout them out for a bit. Wait a minute. Okay, so, uh, huh. so I will show you I show it at the screen. Uh, it's 
Jam Seafood Trading. So you can search for them on uh, Facebook. So that's their official shop. Oh, thank you for the. Oh, thank you for hosting me, only that guy. Ha, huh, how was your stream today? Okay, so uh, this is a local supplier for us. Uh, he, she, I, and uh, they supplied us with a uh, tuna for our kilawin, which is a. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if it's uh, an earlier form of ceviche or something at per uh, poetic wine. And this is a tuna belly that we will be uh, slicing up later. And we have also a tuna jaw. So we have a jaw right there. It's very big. I'm going to show you but it's still in the plastic because I cannot take it out. I don't have a big enough plate. So we have a big jaw. It's a big jaw. So why did I get a jaw if we're just going for soup? So, uh, huh. uh, I, I would uh, do commands though, but uh, I, I haven't had commands to shout out people. So I'm just shouting out manually, uh, the only deaf guy is here. So again, so why did I get a jaw? So a jawbone... Um, Usually, fish with uh, fish have more flavor in their bones and in their skin than in the meat. And also, when we cook the meat, we will, we don't want to cook it too much. So I will be cooking the jawbone uh, more. Then we will be steeping the belly in the broth that we make. So this one, this one will go fresh. So we will uh, pickle it later. So other than that, we have other ingredients like. This first bowl has lemongrass, so lemongrass right here, uh, calamansi, which is a local lime in the Philippines, and also uh, mostly available in Malaysia, Indonesia, uh, ev every country around the Philippines, calamansi is available. It's a small lime that's quite sweet, but also very, very sour. So it's a different flavor pro profile to say lemon and lime. So. And then we have cucumber for uh, the kilowin. So we are doing a version that a poetic wine recommended. So there is cucumber. So since we are also doing a fresh uh, kilowin, we will be using red onions for the kilowin also. And also garlic for both. So we are using garlic for both the tinola and the uh, kilowin. Then we will be using this white uh, onion, this very big white onion for the broth of the uh, tinola so then both will use tomatoes no so we have uh, two different uh, uh, types of tomatoes uh, differing in freshness so we will be using these uh, quite uh, late in their life <laughs> tomatoes that are quite a little soft though not 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 it has not gone bad yet so but they are a, a bit soft they are good for soups so, and the other one is for our kilawin, which will be the crispy one. So, it's still a bit uh, on the fresher side. Ano, ano? Ano ang hila? Ah, ano? Ano yung hilaw sa ano? Sa English, ang butong. So, they are a bit on the uh, unripe side. So, those are those ones are the ripe ones. Uh, the ones here, here. And these are the unripe ones. So, you'll be using these this since we are uh, we want it to be more crunchier to have more texture and both will use of course a little bit of ginger so uh, we'll be using just a bit a small percentage of this for the kilowing so just to add a little um, nuttiness to the flavor and the rest of it will go in the soup for the you know so technically we are preparing two different dishes that have almost the same ingredients but will taste differently so both will also use this. So we will be using uh, uh, long peppers, Philippine long peppers. So they are actually not that hot. They are not that spicy. So they just add a pinch of spiciness. So we'll be using about two, two large ones for the tinola and the rest would be cut up into uh, small medallions for the kilawin. So next up, uh, the, the these other ingredients, uh, let me... This is a malunggay leaf. So this is quite popular in the Philippines. Wait, I received a DM. 
just checking <laughs> okay so we are almost done with the ingredients uh, so this is malonggay this is a very known local uh, plant no uh, this mostly adds a little bit of sticky stickiness to the soup and a little bit of uh, bitter and sweet flavors so it's much like spinach but not as much as yes we are cooking tinola pokemon tree yes we are so uh it lends a bit of um nuttiness also to the soup so this is also used for uh not just for tinola but a lot of other things okay the rice we actually cooked the rice and it's uh, it's already done. So, so it's behind me. It's already done. It says just keep warm. <laughs> huh? Sushi rice? We don't have sushi. And then, we have sushi rice. We only have basic rice. The sinandoming type. Eh, the sinandoming type. <laughs> so I can have tuna while waiting for. Why don't you have sashimi? <laughs> Although I have uh, another block to cut uh, for sashimi, this is belly kasi, so uh, more limp, uh, more under siguro, more ano tawag sa more of the breadth of the tuna should be used for sashimi. So for this, so so for this, um, why why do we have this one? Mostly just for toppings, but we will uh, stir fry the white part. And hopefully get it brown so we can also top it uh, on our kilawin. So other than that, uh, those are just uh, those are the the fresh ingredients that we will be using. And also we have, of course, so we'll be using a little bit of soy sauce for the kilawin. Just a little bit to add the uh, to add complements to our fish sauce. And also uh, they are uh, great for tinola as well. Then for the kilawin, of course, we'll have aside from the kalamansi, we will also have uh, two types of vinegars. So these are the usual market available vinegars in the Philippines. So we will be using this to be more legit. And also we should uh, we should have a salted pepper, of course. This is our reversible meal from Miniso. And of course, oil. We have oil here, so we'll be using uh, just a little bit of. Uh, Although my oil is quite cloudy at this time, it's uh, quite cold. So, uh, so we'll just be using a little bit of uh, olive oil and please don't insult me because it's for me, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, and also we'll be using coconut milk. We can't forget coconut milk for Akilawin because a poetic wine specifically said it. So Silver Swan and Marco Pina are actually good brands. Uh, there is one brand that we don't like to use for adobo. I don't remember what that brand is. Yeah, Likumki. So, Likumki is actually ano, Chine, uh, Chinese style soy sauce and vinegar. Kasi. So, it's a little bit... Uh, it doesn't match. So, although we are, we'll be using just a little bit of the Likumki because it, it's a uh, more subtle flavor than the local Toyo. So, I think we should start with the prep work. So, again, we'll be doing this in order. So that the clean up, clean up is more minimal than it should be. And to, uh, silver swan is good stuff, especially the one with the peppers. Oh yeah, that's nice. I didn't turn off. I didn't turn off my. I turned on my key light. Sorry. I saw it was quite dark. Key light is on. Uh, yeah, there we go. So for now, we will be processing first our okay dry dry ingredients first, then the wet wetter one. So we will be starting with. So we will be using a different knife knife for the acidic. Uh, fruits because uh, we might damage our carbon steel knife so uh, first we will be uh, dividing it into two so of course when you're uh, when you're dealing with ginger 
Okay, but I'm gonna get a plastic bag for the trash. For the refuse pala. It's refuse kasi it's uh, uh, still uh, quite edible but we refuse to eat it. <laughs> okay, so first, let's put this in the sheet. And we'll be... So we'll, but we'll be just using a little part for our kilo weight and the rest will be used for the soup so we won't be removing the skin anymore we washed it in water although there's still some some skin that's falling off so we just have to break it this way and I think I can get a little more from this one for the kilo weight and that's it so we will be skinning these and the rest will be uh, in I think medallions but let's do this one first. We'll be getting a prep plate for this. Prep plate. Okay, so let's do a separate prep plate. Prep plate, I think, for our uh, tinola and our ceviche, uh, i.e. ilawin. So, we have one more plate. Actually, I don't think we need um, more prep pre plates for the ilawin. Let's just uh, put it in a mixing bowl. Because we're, we're eventually going to mix it anyway. So, I'll be using this mixing bowl for our ilawin. I should have not put it in, the, in this bowl anymore. But we are still drying that up and now we will be uh, gingerly <laughs> slicing the ginger. So for the kilawin, I just want it to be quite fine. I, I mean uh, just uh, very, very small mints. So let's just get the skin off. Although uh, you don't have to get the skin off because it uh, adds to the flavor also but since I am very stingy when it comes to kilawin <laughs> and other fresh things, let's remove the skin. Yeah, and uh, these knives are actually freshly, <laughs> like the freshly sharpened, so they do minimal work. Although the fibers are still very tough, as you can see. There you go. Then we will slice it to batons, mini batons. Then to squares, we will be doing cubes, very fine cubes. Uh, some people say here in the Philippines that ginger is very good for cats. I am not sure if uh, that's true. But some of the cat owners in the Philippines give uh, ginger, or uh, what do you call this in Tagalog, salabat. So they give salabat to their kitties for proper kitty function. I'm not sure if that's... Uh, uh, that's uh, effective, pero uh, I've 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 heard stories of kitties kitties recovering from uh, kidney diseases just because of that. So I am not a hundred percent sure. Okay, let's just uh, do a fine mash of this. So next time when we will be streaming, I hope we would have the boom mic that. Uh, <laughs> we ordered so that we can uh, we can have an isolated one for the audio on the table and one for uh, the top where uh, w one up top where you can uh, hear me properly so just uh, a little bit of maybe <laughs> not a big shift a little bit of ginger for our kilowin um, I don't know why, but I like the flavor of ginger in Kilowin. But you don't have to. There's always a version where there's an ingredient that's missing. But it turns out that's their official version. So uh, the, fun, the funny thing in the Philippines is there's no one way to cook uh, a certain recipe. You know? There's always different, uh, different recipes in different parts of the Philippines. So say you cook a certain, uh, you cook adobo in a certain way in Pampanga, and you cook adobo in a certain in another way in some other part of the Philippines. 
So uh, there's never one standard version. That's why uh, there was this funny thing that they were trying to do with Adobo. They were trying to standardize it, but I am not sure if they succeeded in that one. Okay, just always slice away from your hand. Then you'll be fine. Just, just don't push it uh, into the blade or else you'll, <laughs> you'll get your fingers cut. You gotta love this a very sharp knife. It's doing a very fine work of our ginger. Very fine. See but but an pungent taste of ginger offer fish mail. Not too much. Not too much. Ah, offset, yeah, it offsets. Although, uh, mostly since uh, it's already considered a spice, it also adds to uh, the kind of flavor of fun. Since tuna is not very pungent if you got it fresh. So, uh, mm -hmm. so again, shout out to our to our supplier so shout out to our sponsor again poetic uh, y 99 and to our supplier from uh farmers uh, market Kubao, jam uh seafood trading so they're they're actually uh good guys right there uh they are very attentive and they uh, even if they have a lot of orders they will uh, tend to you in the best way possible so we're just uh, cutting big medallions of this and putting it in the soup later of course if you want if you're gonna put it in soup unless you're gonna eat it you should slice it this way so i think this is good it's very rustic also so let's put it in a prep plate for our tinuela so next uh the less dry one so we are getting uh, onions so we want a fine dice for the one that's going into our kilowin then we want uh soup uh soup slices for soup size slices for the white one so that we can see of course this is a uh, uh, sweet red the local uh, local red uh, onions are sweet uh, uh, typically sweet so they really go well with the uh, no they really go, to go well with the kilowin. I will be using uh, the, the entirety of this one for our kilowin. So let's just remove our top layer. Because it's already bug bug. That's the problem with supermarkets here. Eh? They sell it uh, and they just neglect it in the stands. So, that, so people kind of just throw it around and put stuff on top of it. Then next thing you know, your onions are bug bug. Okay, so let's do the usual. So uh -huh, yeah. Yung ano naman natin yung red onion naman natin sa Manila is sweet. Eh. Hindi naman siya us usually yung spicy type. So ano, uh, it's fun to use freshly sharpened knives because there's less effort. Although this is not that sharp, <laughs> I mean, in a sense, because you need, don't need, don't actually need to sharpen it that much, since you have the weight backing you up. But still, I'll uh, keep it sharp. So again, we have a fine dice right here. We're just removing the brown ones because we don't like that. But everything else is good. Okay, so let's put it in. Wait, now we still have brown stuff. Here. There we go. There we go. Then let's put it here. So that goes directly into our kilowin. Would have gone bigger, pero I, I'm actually going to slice the these smaller pa so that they treat faster.
This one, this one actually is quite mature. That's why I am, I am removing everything I need to. Yeah, I think that's better. That's a problem, eh, If you live in a city, you are not, uh, you don't have the benefit of. Yes, baby. Don't have the benefit of getting uh, the fresher ingredients. Especially, uh, although now it's quite easier already because they're lifting so much of the restrictions. Okay, just be careful and compress your onion real good. And always keep your nails stuck and short. There you go. So that's good. That's one onion for our kilawin. Next one will be uh, for our soup base. So let's just get the other ones off and get the white onion. Actually, it's a yellow onion, not white. So we just want uh, normal slices for this one for soup because we want it to cook slower. So of course, if you slice onions are uh, really, really small, they tend to cook faster. So we are going for, I think, strips or julienes, which is very easy to do. <laughs> it's going to be quite fast. Okay, so let's just remove the skin and remove the base so that we don't tear up base off and then we do uh, it this way so we follow the slope of our onion and there we go so this one is for soup let's just put it beside our our ginger Guys, layo naman. <laughs> Guys, layo naman kayo. Ingat, iyak, iyak na naman kayo, kayo mamaya. My cats are actually quite near, so I think they're getting the a whiff of the onion already. Plain. Layo ka ng konti. Ako na luluha. <laughs> Katitig ka pa talaga dun sa onion, eh, no? For, for me, actually, the yellow onions are from... The Philippines are quite more, ju uh, quite more juicier, uh, quite juicier than the red one, which is good in terms of cooking, but uh, it is quite bad for the eyes, <laughs> especially if you have cats at home. Since we live in a studio apartment, uh, of course, the cats uh, get a whiff of everything we cook, uh, including when we are chopping onions. So there's this one time that uh, all four of them uh, got a whiff of uh, the white onion that I was slicing. And they were tearing up maybe until 30 minutes after I was done cooking. Unregulated motion and motion. And we are done. Okay. Put it here. So that we can cook it later properly. Okay. I was uh, I was actually thinking of uh saute sauteing everything first before I put the bro I I put the water in. So I'll be using um one part rice washing and one part uh cold water. So, let's uh, prep na rin pala this lemon uh, grass. So, we will be using both uh, the stalks and the leaves. So, for the leaves, we will be we will, we will just be tying it up. So, just getting rid of the loose stuff and getting, uh, getting the meatier parts here. So, let's just do that one. Then, we will be tying these up so that we can use it in the soup. So let's just tie it up like this, like so. Just uh, either like this, like what you do in pandan when you use, when you cook pandan rice. Then you just tie it like this. Uh, I 
see. You, just, you don't have to extract it any. I you 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 won't have difficulty extract extracting it from the soup anymore. So one final bowl so that it won't uh, collapse on its own. And one bowl to the other side. So let's get rid of. It ain't pretty. It ain't pretty, but it works. <laughs> Mula ba sa labas? Wala na. Okay, so we are using this. So we're just uh, gonna put it down <laughs> into the soup. So put it here. Then the thing we do with the stalks, we just uh, bruise them up so that they release their flavor. So we just use the back of our knives, our very big and chubby knife, and just go doing it like this. So that the fluids are, uh, if fluids coalesce into the stem, so that when we start the soup, it's already there. You don't have to boil for longer periods of time. So okay, and next we have our chili. So for the chilies of, okay, uh, for the chilies of uh, the. Tinola, we are just getting two long ones, the long ones, and just including it in the soup. Let's make it three. So for the other ones, so we're using the smaller ones here, we're just gonna do a diagonal dice on them. So let's just start and let's put it directly. So for me, I like a spicy kilogin. So, uh, that big of a slice. So, let's put it directly. Let's remove the lemongrass. So, uh, again, be careful. Don't touch your eyes after this one. I don't want you to learn it the hard way. <laughs> so, hello again to our seven viewers who are watching. This is, uh, again, uh, a request from our our OG, OG subscriber, Apotic Y99. So... We are cooking again. Uh, if you did not uh, hear our introduction earlier, we're cooking a uh, tuna tinola with a uh, tuna kilawin. So, and giving some to our neighbors. So just be careful with your hands. And yeah, we wa I want a thicker dice for this because uh, if you don't like chilies, especially uh, like my wife who doesn't like chilies much. You can just remove it easily if it's this big but it will still lend a good amount of flavor for your kilo bean say so it's not necessary necessary for you to eat them to get the flavor okay so we are good with the chilies we need to wash our hands first so i'm gonna wash my hands So next, we are going for garlic. Do you give it a good watch or press on the leaves to help open them? Uh, for the leaves, you don't have to press them because once it, I, uh, it's like tea. So uh, if you can, uh, if it, if you can see, it's actually quite dry already. So when it submerges into the water, it eats up a lot of the water. So for the leaves, you don't have to bruise them already. They're already there. So when you steep it already, it's like tea. It's gonna spread out. But for the stalks, since they are much beefier and not dry, so as you can see, they are still wet. That's not from my hand. That's from uh, inside of uh, the lemongrass stalks. So the stalks, actually, you have to bruise them first before you use them. Uh, much like in use, uh, much like when you use it in you know, in lechon. So if you just uh, go for the lechon without uh, thinking, you won't get the proper flavor. So I'm just gonna get some container for our uh, spring onions. So we'll be separating the spring onions into two. So the white parts and the green parts. 
So green parts we use, uh, we will be using them rough. So just get a few of the sprigs and just get rid of the, the tips because the tips are quite dry. We don't want a dry green onion. Then just batch them up and slice. So slice, 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 slice. And, uh, this is getting in my way. I have to remove it first. So this is just mostly for dressing and accents. I think this is enough for our... No, no, more, more. more. <laughs> I want more. just put it somewhere here so that we can use it later oops there's a long one we can actually include the middle stalks of this for say uh, also dressing our tinola but I think the onion there would do a much better job Last one, so we are at uh, the almost at the white part. So we just remove a portion of that, and no, we just re reverse it and just slice it from there. The spring onions av av available here are quite, are quite bendy, so <laughs> you have to bunch them up properly so that you can get a good slice. This I want, I want to get of bigger slices so that when we fry them they don't burn a guide so we are including some of the sprigs of the green parts now okay so yeah so this one i am not sure what we're going to do with this uh so since uh we have to throw it away <laughs> yeah because we can fry it and we can use it for garnish kasi. so and we won't be using it for anything. So sorry, and thank you for your service. Okay, so this is the one that we will be uh, technically not frying, but steeping in oil. So let's ju let's just remove some of the loose loose uh, roots and put it there in into the bowl so that we can fry it later. So we'll also since we will be uh, sauteing our tinola sis uh, tinola veggies first uh, I will be doing doing the frying for this uh, white part of the of our spring onions I'll be doing it first so that uh, it infuses into the oil and then we start with the saute okay. so this here and this here so that's both for our both for our Kilowin. So the next we have cucumber. So we just quarter it and slice it in two. We keep keep the seeds because the seeds give it more moisture. So kilowin is good when it's moist for me. Huh? So let's just give it a good slice there. Give it a good slice here. So we're just doing this. I was actually planned to, to use the bigger one that came with this, pero turns out it was uh, already stale. So, sadly, I had to get rid of it. So, we just use a uh, very large cubes for the kilawin. So, let's uh, let them intermingle there. So, it's already flavoring each other. Then this. It's much like the, uh, no, uh, I remember it's a uh, Middle Eastern style to use, or Mediterranean style to use cucumber in uh, yogurt. I don't remember the name of the sauce though. <laughs> okay, then next, our tomatoes. So th these are the crunchy tomatoes for our akilawin. So let's start with slicing our crunchies. So we're already actually developing uh, the 
the uh, texture of our kilawin. So la the last one to go in is the tuna and the brining solution. So we'll be doing that later. Okay, let's just remove the top. Okay. Okay, and we will be doing a uh, lateral slice, then we'll be doing cubes. For me, it's uh, easier to slice the tomato on this face because it's softer and uh, the doesn't get crushed under the weight of the knife. Although the knife is very sharp, you don't have, don't have to worry. Let's do a, a on skin cut later. It's actually quite hard to cut on tomato on skin <laughs> unless you have a really really sharp knife, which I am still not adept at using. Okay, let's try it with this one. Just get rid of that. And let's do this. Say, I, the thing is, uh, this is actually a knife that slices on the push more than on the pull. So if you're going to slice with the skin, you do a push instead of a pull. So it's the same with most of the butcher knives used by Chinese chefs. It's always push, push. Unlike uh, the Western style knives that do that cut on the pull, so some of them cut on the cut on the pull. That's why they have uh, a very harsh curve uh, here. Uh, for me, I think that's it. Uh, based on the uh, based on the feel when I use it. So and we we as Filipinos don't like waste, so we eat the seeds. Fresh or cooked, we eat the seeds. I don't know. I've been eating tomato seed seeds since I was a, a little person, <laughs> so I haven't had any adverse effects uh, ever, uh, since. So I don't think uh, uh, there will be a tomato tree growing in my gut a very long time, unless I'm dead. <laughs> cut on the push, cut on the push, and cut on the. Push. this one it evaded our efforts so yeah include the soup Anna? you were once a little <laughs> I was once little that's a uh, very long time ago herself Herschel must have been in college back then burn You could actually feel a feel a little resistance from the tomato, but just a little. Okay, so I think we're not going to do this one. Let's slice it more. There you go. Again, we're pinoy, so we eat the we eat the seeds. So let's put it in. Okay, next, we are going for the leaves, so we're just getting a hand a uh, towel. By the way, we bought a huge roll of kitchen kitchen towels. Hashtag not sponsored by uh, Sanicare, but I just wanted to show everyone because it's big, it's very big. Let's just get this out and uh, where is the edge? There you go. And we actually didn't buy a stand for this one, so it's just going on the side. <laughs> and let's uh, get rid of all this juice so that we can slice our next batch of tomatoes. So for the for the tinola, we'll be going for again two slices. So we will be go doing quarters, either quarters or eighths, depending on the size of the tomato. So these are very soft tomatoes already. They are very ripe, so uh, although they are acidic, uh, uh, this can uh, still work, still works, uh, because they are not as acidic as say limes. 
So let's do the quarters now. So let's do quarter here. I think we can do eight, but I want quarters. <laughs> so okay, let's put it here beside the lemongrass. So let's use the lemongrass juice. Okay, cut again, cut on the push, cut on the push, not on the pull. I have this beautiful tomato. It looks like it's gonna go on the salad. Even if we crush that one, it still sliced perfectly. Okay, and this is the softest of the, the four, so I think we'll be, we'll be quite careful with this one. There you go. We have quarters. So we are almost full. Uh, the last one that will be going there is the garlic, and we'll be just uh, separating the leaves from the from the malunggay, and we'll be doing the meat. So this, these last two, uh, I and also the kalamansi pala, We're doing the kalamansi juice. So with this, uh, people just do this nowadays since we are using the whole clove anyway. And we're, we're actually just using a few pala since we, I don't want it to be overcome with uh, garlic flavor. No? So we're just gonna leave some of it behind. Uh, I think this is good. And we'll be returning it to our container here. Behind. It's a mess, but it works. So let's just remove uh, the skin and pound. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> One garlic cut away. I'm gonna catch it first. Di laro anyan hicho la garlic yan. Here you go. The scat poison. Okay. So it didn't get crushed, so we crush it. And we remove the skin. So how how was your uh, weekend so far, guys? Masaya ba ang inyo weekends? Did you enjoy your weekend? Because honestly, uh, honestly speaking, we should have longer weekends. We deserve longer weekends. Although we do work at home, work from home, I think uh, we should still get uh, the usual uh, day off because uh, working working at home is uh, stressful enough. So I hope everyone is doing okay, and hopefully we'll be out of this pandemic in in just months, not years. You the the only yeah I actually gave him one already so again we are uh, shouting out our one of our channel supporters the only deaf guy uh, hopefully you're enjoying your uh, enjoying your time watching us so uh, here's a shout out for you only deaf guy please follow and uh, if you can subscribe to him. Uh, it would be a great great help to his channel and to our channel as well so he's uh, one he's one of the many good guys of uh, the food and drink uh, community here on Twitch so hopefully you give him a watch one of these days and give him a follow so uh, so hope you enjoy so we are doing um, just a few cloves for our our kilowin and the rest would be just rough chocolate oh thank you for gifting the sub to the only deaf guy thank you poetic wine 
<laughs> You've been doing too much for the channel. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just uh, do this uh, fine, fine, so that it integrates into the sauce. So let's do the usual. No, let's do um, let's do the onion thing. The onion thing. The only thing I the only thing I hate with garlic is it gets so sticky, especially when it's fresh. as you can get. Also shouting out ano pala uh, Beanie. Uh, it, I don't remember the whole name of the channel. I just remember the Beanie part. So he's uh, one of Stan's friends. So she uh, does uh, live streams of games as well. Uh, she just did uh, an Animal Crossing stream last night. So uh, Hopefully, guys, you can also uh, give her a watch one of these days if you like those kinds of content. So, and also, of course, our our guy, the only deaf guy, watch uh, one of their streams one of these days. And who else is there? Cookie Muncher, hello. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying your time. So, rough chop on the tinola. The, the, the garlic will be using on the tinola. So just rough chops. Because we will be sauteing them. And we don't want them to get either too mushy or get burned while we are sauteing and boiling the soup. So before we steep the tuna, we'll be boiling it first. We'll be boiling the soup first before we add the tuna. So that we don't get the mushy tuna texture. So that is good for Tinola. So here comes the hard part. Uh, we will be doing the calamansi. So we're giving, do, we're bidding goodbye to our the butcher's knife, and we'll be switching over to a stainless steel knife because we don't want this to rust. gonna have him back uh, a little later when we're processing the fish so for now we will be going after the calamansi so let's just put it on the side for now Because we are extracting every last drop of juice from these calamansi. So first we need to cut them, of course. Let's put them beside us. Okay, so beside us. Put this to the side first. We won't need you until later. So we just uh, roll and give it a slice halfway in the center okay there we go there these are actually quite uh ripe already so i don't think we need to roll that much and i don't i think don't we need to roll on some of them already and they're juicing juicing up already this is the job of the 
youngest in the family usually, but <laughs> I I am not the youngest. Hello, my sisters. Oh, my my mom actually had kalamasi uh, before, but I I don't remember if it's a uh, really hard to grow in the city. See, it, there's always dice. Eh. I think they just uh, succeeded in growing some of them just lately. But I remember when I was young, uh, they tried both lemon and calamansi and both of them died. So I'm not sure what we were do what we were doing wrong. Yes, you could never have too much calamansi. We we have enough for calamansi juice. Pero pa tayo ko lahat yung balot doon. Okay, so... We could work on the Kilawin first. So, we're actually quite finished with every, every prep that we need except for the meat. Okay, so let's just strain uh, this stuff. So, doing it on a strainer, uh, make sure that you don't get any seeds because it's hard to fish out the seeds. Let's judge if we need some more. Have calamansi, guava, and mangoes at my house. Sometimes. Oh, I hope they're thriving because some of them are very stingy. I think mangoes are not that stingy, but the guavas and the calamansi are surely a very stingy plants. They require a lot of care for some reason. Growing a lemon and sweet orange, but they aren't fruit. Um, my mom actually uh, told me that they started using MSG on the roots of uh... <laughs> my mom just tells them off. Just kidding. Uh, my mom actually uh, does this uh, sort of concoction with MSG. So they are actually they actually flower. They ha they tend to have bigger bigger uh, fruits and uh, veggies when you have when you add MSG to the roots. It's something to do with I think water retention. <laughs> but if they behave enough, they still become lunch. <laughs> the look the look of the nanas especially when you do, did something wrong <laughs> you gotta love the spell of calamansi on your hands but not when you can't wash them I think calamansi is also part of the myth that uh, I myth of uh, trying to whiten your skin tone I'm not sure if it's effective. I'm not, it's not a problem. I mean, it's not a problem for me because I'm a guy. And I don't get the point of uh, penis trying to push themselves to quite me. <laughs> they might survive the dinner. But just barely. Okay, I think actually that's a bit more than I was expecting. Pero this is good enough. So after uh, uh, your advice, so poetic points advice, we use suka in this. So I'll be I'll be putting it a little bit more brining fluid. So I'll be using a two types of vinegar. So let's treat the brining. Let's start with the brine already. So I'll be doing this one. Then cutting the fi the the fish medallions already, so that we can start with the brining. So, so I think for the cocoa milk, we can use the whole one already. This one, it's just two fifty ml. But first, we should uh, start with the with the uh, what do you call this with the. 
the tangy side first, the tangy flavors. So here and this one, so two types, and we use salt and pepper, a little bit of patties, a little bit of patties, but more salt and pepper, and more salt and pepper to taste. and pepper so it's already spicy so you don't have to put that much and a little bit of the soy sauce just a little bit just to flavor it up a little bit okay so it's gonna mix uh, from uh, the recipes that I found online I think you put uh, this uh, brining solution in the milk separately so you put this brine first then the milk last so let's start with our tuna. So the kilawin cut tuna is here. So we just want this to be a little bit smaller. Just a little milk, not much, yeah. But I don't know where, where I'm gonna use the other parts of the milk. <laughs> so I think this uh, size is a little bit too big. I, you want native style, not Luzon style or tourist style. Exactly. Okay, we want native size, so I think this is good. Uh, their sizing parameters are not that uh, great. No, it's it's great, but uh, I think they're expecting Luzon style. So let's put it directly in. So we are using about a quarter of a uh, quarter kilo, half that size. Okay, so let's uh, let's do a, let's get a do over on this one. <laughs> Half that size, so maybe around this. So uh, it's like a pellet, pellet size or something. So if it's half, we go against the grain, slice, and push. I think this is better. No, it's uh, it's gonna. This is gonna cure much faster. So when you told me it was just a few minutes of curing, <laughs> didn't understand at first. But since this is a uh, very fine cut, naman. And it's actually quite fresh. The tuna is very fresh. It's better the tuna looks great, but if you aren't sure, that's better. Yeah. You just put it there. And more here. So just halfway. Okay. So you want the texture more than anything. So let's go smaller on this. I just love how the knives just go through the meat. When it's freshly sharpened. <laughs> okay, uh, it's a so this is a Western style knife, although this is a santoku santoku shape. It's uh, from um very cheap. Uh, it's not a uh, it's not a higher end brand. It's a mid end brand. Uh, it's the Skoma. So okay, uh, let's just slice all the way. This is a very big chunk, so we are reducing it to smaller chunks. Okay. Let's leave uh, some of the bigger ones so that they uh, can be still uh, raw inside because I like raw too much. Just that much. Would have done this on my own, but... <laughs> Since it was available, I just got it so that you don't have to do that much slicing anymore. Since we're still gonna slice the panga later, the panga is very big. I don't know how I can manage it on this small cutting board, but we can, of course. That's why we actually have this table so that we don't we won't stain the plastic underneath. And hopefully the table cloth isn't just a uh, single use. But uh, the kitty started uh, gnawing on it a little earlier. So I think it will be single use. So, and push. And push. There you go. Sayang. <laughs> Uh, sorry for the shake. Okay, let's go against the grain. There you go. And go with the grain. 
So I think their kinilaw cut, their kinilaw cut is uh, mostly a mix of belly and loin. So I think we're gonna enjoy it later, and we're gonna give some to the neighbors as well. But mostly, uh, it will be me who's do, who will be doing the eating. <laughs> So I'll tell them you, I, I'll ten, I'll tell them you sent the meal over so. <laughs> The belly actually when I ordered it it was actually bigger uh, it was not just this it was another this and another one So if I'm going to cook it all for tinola later uh, I am not sure if it'll fit or if it'll cook properly So I'm deferring the other one to another uh, meal so I think uh, you can suggest some other uh, We try to get Spanish mackerel when we can but otherwise that type there's great. Okay. Yeah Tends to be too fatty. Yeah, yeah, it does. so it's actually good that they use mostly loin and just a little bit of the belly The the gray ones actually are, is the belly because the belly tends to gray out uh, real fast especially if it's uh, if they're freezing it or just starting to cool it with ice. So this one is actually fresh. I was looking at other, what do you call this, other suppliers, but they weren't supplying fresh. Eh? They only supplied, supplied uh, refrigerated or frozen. So this one came, came to Kubao earlier. Then was sent to us up, uh, about 10 a.m. this morning. Yeah. We are done with the I know with the smaller part, so let's get more chunky. I'm going more chunky like this. I think this is okay. <laughs> yeah. So for now, I'm doing more chunkier cuts so that we get more meat for each bite. Sadly, I didn't get to, uh, I, they didn't have stock of uh, the better part of the skin. This one kasi is this, uh, par just partially the skin and I don't want to remove this because I don't want to ruin the belly. So I was I was actually going to order the skin that one, but they were out. So Skin is technically an offal, <laughs> so <laughs> they don't uh, keep it as much. This is actually the reason why I, I was uh, busy sharpening knives uh, yesterday because I didn't want the knife to fail midway. There are some kni knife sharpening purists who use uh, Japanese, uh, they call this, uh, whetstones. They're just too expensive. So I use the typical uh, tool grade kind. Still a whetstone though, but it's for mostly for uh, use with uh, carbide, metal carbide tool, tool steel. So it eats away much faster at uh, knife steel since knife steel isn't is it carbide. So. So it's easier to sharpen because with wet stones you have to uh, be very attentive and uh, go long strokes unlike if you go with uh, tungsten and metal carbide sharpeners <laughs> so that's the that's the trick guys uh, don't go for the wet stones unless you have experience with wet stones or you might regret it, regret it later if you can still go for the Usual uh, ones you see at your parents' uh, <laughs> house, the gray and black one. Because, uh, that's uh, that's enough grit na for uh, maintaining knives. Eh? That's around, I think, two hundred for no, uh, four hundred grit and uh, 
I think a thousand two hundred grit. So one's already good for chipping away at uh, the edges of the knife, while the other one is already good for polishing. So I might do a sharpening uh, live stream maybe in the future, if you like that one. That dish is the base of ceviche and pico de gallo sauces or Brazilian salsa. Yes, actually it is. So I did a little research also. So it's a big influence with, uh, especially with salsa, Brazilian salsa. So hooray, hooray Philippines. <laughs> But uh, as one of uh, the more uh, famous uh, cooking YouTubers in the Philippines uh, told us in one of his live streams, uh, when you're cooking, a recipe isn't uh, uh, isn't uh, even if you did it on your own, uh, you can never own it because there's always someone who can cook it in another way, and there's always another way to cook it also. So. Nobody really owns uh, anything when it comes to food. That's why I don't know what I, where I'm going with this. <laughs> so, I think there's a little bit more that's left inside. So I just wa I actually washed this washed this earlier so that the blood is uh well it's not the blood really it's uh, the protein in the meat. I don't remember what, what it's called. Huh. We didn't study it in biology in high school. But uh, we mostly watch, watched this already. So that after this, we can start steeping the broth for our tinola. So this, uh, this uh, leaf, this malungay leaf, they actually go just after boiling, so you don't uh, destroy the leaf. It's good. So, so on your uh, with your style, do you put the milk before uh, before the brine or after the brine? Say I've seen others put the milk before, and some put it after. Yeah, and you put it before or after? While marinating here or while the brine is already active? Okay, okay, I get it. But it does, it does wonders. Okay. So we're almost done with a quarter of a kilo of uh, kilo wing. So I am excited. It will take, I think, 20 minutes to, uh, per 20 coin, uh, 20 minutes to finish once we put the brine in. Okay. I'll do just that in a few seconds. So we'll be just mixing this up before we uh, brine. Okay, so we're going with the bigger medallions now. You're almost done. Let me before you. I don't know. Okay. So brine first. So with the milk, I think uh, around a tablespoon might be good. We're done with this and we are putting it back into our washer. Washer with this is just the sink in me. <laughs> so we just get rid of the water inside first and orient our hands before we start the process of we call this uh brining. So 
we will mix just like uh, salsa we pinch and pinch and uh, you call this pinch and mix pinch and mix like this it gives flavor huh and then yeah so after you mix it a little bit so it will be a little uh, spicy because of the we call this the, the chili so after this we can put the brine so we'll be putting all of this so this is the suha and kalamansi mixture we'll be putting every single drop i'm getting rid of it later the excess later okay so let's just mix it in so that it covers most of if not all of the things we want to brine so mix it a little more so i think it, it would have been better if i put just put the vegetables on top now okay so let's um let that seep in for the next 10 minutes before we add the, the milk let's get rid of this Hi Carrot Sarang, uh, welcome to our channel. Hope you're enjoying yourself. So we are, again we are cooking, um, actually we're preparing this, it's a local delicacy, it's called tuna kilawin. And also we are doing a tuna tinola with our tuna belly. So we'll be processing our, our proteins for the tinola next. So I'm just prepping the malunggay, so that's the last one we'll be doing. So we'll be just getting most of the leaves off because it's just the leaves that we want. We don't want anything else. We don't want the stuff. We just want the leaves. Hope you like Pinoy food at the restaurants in many areas. So I add more milk just before serving it so that people don't want it local style. Yeah. So we'll try it actually uh, your style. I think uh, this malunggay can serve more than just one meal. I think I can prepare more with this. But for now, we're just getting the leaves. It's actually a quite a cheap... Uh, it's quite cheap. Eh? This is around 20 pesos and you can get so much from it. Eh? Again, this was the job of the younger sibling usually. <laughs> Not me. We're just gonna get a little more and let's just grab uh, stems and we can remove this from our side so that we can do something else. So there we go. Save all the leaves. We need all of them. So the ones in the tuna can just go on the tuna. Let's just bag this for another another meal. Maybe stir fry, maybe chop soy, maybe no. Ah, it's endless. But you can do it malone. I can also bake it in bread if you want. Yep, uh, that's the dumagete style coconut milk. <laughs> With coconut milk. Kasi ours in Luzon uh, just has that and that's it. With a little patis and toyo on the side. Okay. This part is uh, where the siblings who do the malunggay usually get scolded at because you don't, you don't want to include the stems. So you just include the leaves.
it's unique though kasi I seldom encounter Kilawin that has milk. Although I, I think I ate at one of the carinderias near my school that serve uh, Kilawin with gata. Yung sa 88. Yung, yung quote-unquote, their, their quote-unquote sisig is uh, Kilawin Visayan style with milk. But it's not uh, it's not seafood, it's pork. So it's partially, I think, cooked. No, it's cooked. But they uh, brine the meat nonetheless. Gunpla, Noobster. Hey, just randomly saw your stream. More power, Chef. Thank you so much, Gunpla, Noobster. I uh, hope you uh, drop by again sometime in the future. And I hope you're enjoying uh, your day. Thank you for uh, thank you for passing by. Oh, thank you for <laughs> thank you for gifting a sub to to Cookie Muncher. <laughs> thank you for the wine. Wait, is Cookie Muncher there? Oh, she's still there. Or, although I think she she'll be quite busy because it's already four. <laughs> So that she won't munch on your cookies. <laughs> it, it'll keep her at bay for one month. <laughs> okay, I am almost done with this malong guy. You're in my background while doing some office work. I'm glad we have Pinoy's in Twitch. Space. Yeah, actually, we have a uh, quite a small. Co we have quite a big community on our own. So we do also do gaming. So uh, there are channels that I am cur currently affiliate uh, uh, friends with. So that's uh, mostly a Stan of Yandy TV. Um, uh, this, these are all Pinoy's. Huh? Uh, Cooking Muncher who just started streaming again after a long hi hiatus, and um, Fe. I'm not sure is, if Fen is still here, but Fenella and John Cookie, congratulations nga pala John Cookie for achieving uh, Afi status today. I, I think today or yesterday. So happy 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 birthday to you. <laughs> so there's a uh, we have quite a big community. If you want, if I, if you're into games, say Val Valorant, there. Uh, they're they're good at Valorant. I, I I don't play Valorant. I mostly play horror games and Animal Crossing. And also cook. <laughs> Hence the channel. Sige pa tayo nung yung yung race. So I I hope you uh, keep with us in the next uh vid next more videos and live streams. And hopefully you're enjoying your background uh, sounds for today. Yes, I do. I do gaming in the same channel <laughs> because I uh, mostly I do cooking at in week uh, on weekends because of time constraints. Because I won't be cooking at ten p.m. in the evening or nine p.m. in the evening. I would be done cooking by that time, <laughs> or my wife would kill me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Antawag redundancy. <laughs> So you could pass by maybe same time every day. You'd be hearing. Uh, uh, do you prefer that we uh, stream in Tagalog or in English? I think you would prefer it to be Tagalog. We mostly do it Tagalog because uh, I can't force my the people who play with me to go all English. Ano pinoy yata siya. Visaya or Visaya. I uh, sadly I am not uh, very versed in Visaya. I only I only know Yawa. That's the extent of my Visaya knowledge. <laughs> Nobody is perfect, but I still need to practice. Oh. 
I am still uh, our cameras as uh, our IP cameras are still not working. So sadly, we don't have kit cam still. Ah oh, wait, poetic wine tells me to hydrate. Pero pa kung I am gonna hydrate. The the refrigerator is behind me, so I can. But we don't have water. But we don't have water, so I have to get it from the tap. <laughs> we only have coke. Yeah, we only have coke. We are bad, bad examples to. That's why we are. Uh, that's why we are a mature stream. We are bad examples to children. <laughs> And to make it more special, I'll just use the tip so that. So, since we have calamansi anyway, let's put a little bit of calamansi in my water. Sure, sure na ako dito, sure na sure. A little bit of calamansi, and cheers to everyone who's watching! Same. <laughs> Actually, matamis yung kalamansi pala na nakuha ko. Scotch works. But I won't be opening that yet. <laughs> Actually, even uh, the only deaf guy is terrible at hydrating. <laughs> we had to remind them every time we, we watch the stream. I'm doing kalamansi water. Alright, off to a meeting, gotta bounce, more power to be noise on Twitch. Thank you, Gunpla Noobster. Uh, hope you're enjoying your Gunpla. We, we actually uh, were uh, hobbyists before, my wife and I, but we, tend, we, we, fell, we fell out of Gunpla a, a few years ago. <laughs> uh, mostly because of the budget. So okay, ha, have, a, have a good meeting and uh, see you on the next stream, okay? Okay, so we are putting uh, our okay, call this kinilaw uh, on the side because we'll be preparing our protein for for the tinola. So we'll do the belly first, then the what do you call this? Then the panga later. So we'll be uh, disassembling the panga because it it won't fit in the it won't fit in the pan. But I want I since I want to sear it, uh, I have to uh, break it down first. So we're going to get rid of this also. So let's uh, slice the belly. So belly down. So we are we are done with everything already except for the meats. Let's get it on the water. <laughs> and there's another. Uh, there's malunggay on my tuna. Okay, so let's just uh, hone. Always remember to hone your knives, guys. Especially if you're using them regularly. Okay, let's just get rid of this uh, end part because it has uh, this this end muscle that doesn't uh, taste good. So let's just get through the skin and push. Uh, skin can be fish skin can be tough on knives, so that's why I'm using this carbon steel. Okay, so after getting rid of that. We want this this belly meat because we want it to be quite fatty. So this is actually the black one you get for bangus. So when it cooks, it cooks really, really juicy. So we will just slice into one, two, three, four, and alanganin yung five. So 
uh, around five, five to six segments that are roughly the same size. So let's just start with this skin down. So we score it first before we start to work on. So we don't want to be pressing on the meat so that we don't crush it. You just work sawing the skin. And once we are done with the skin, it will just be like butter. Just like that. There you go. That's a perfect slice right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sear them skin side first then remove them from the pan. So I will be searing them after cooking the white onions, uh, the white spring onions. Then uh, we will stir fry everything else. Then put in the, br the, we will put in the rice water. Then we will just steep this one up until it's, it's cooked. So we need a small, a uh, small medallion, so, uh, just like uh, the one we just cut earlier. So we are going for this size, right there. And I wanted to keep keep the scale so so that we can keep it rustic. After this, I have to sharpen this again. <laughs> because if you can see, scales and skin are actually quite bad for knives. They tend to dull the knives uh, faster than the usual stuff you cut. So let's uh, just hone again. We should actually be regularly honing this since we are slicing a very, very tough material. Mommy. How are you, Elsie? Kamusta? Sorry, I'm going to from ano eh, from Animal Crossing stream. <laughs> Excited ka na ba para ma, uh, pagka ano, para dito sa tuna ano. Ay, iinggitin kita. Ito, kilawin no. You know. Uh, in about a few minutes, we will be putting in the cocoa milk. <laughs> Konti na lang, tapos tuna tinola naman mamaya. Maglalaway, ay, kayo pala yung maglalaway, kami yung kakain. <laughs> Strip. Okay, I think I can do three more, roughly three. So, or I mean, dalawa lang. Dalawa lang. Yeah. Hmm? Hindi siya naka ano? Hindi siya naka scale. Awala. Miss scale pa siya. And I think I just need to hone a bit more. <laughs> it's it's getting dull. But since this is a very uh, this is a very easy blade to sharpen, I have no problems. Pwede daw kung paampon. Ano, tanongin mo si Mabel. Tanongin mo si Umari Studio kung, gusto, kung pwede mo paampon. Wait, I can't get through this first. Pwede naman. Pero may rent. <laughs> may service fee. Sorry, I think uh, we got rid of the edge already because of the scale. So we'll be sharpening this again tonight. Pampun ka kaya, no? Kay Poetic Wine. Mahirap pa na siya, no? Yung ano, yung, yung scales, mahirap. Pero pag kunwari, this scale dito. Gusto ko lang kasi may scale kasi pag sinear to, malagotong to. Yung kanina, pwede pang sinear. Yung kanina, uh, 
kilaw cut. I think, oo. Pero meron talaga sila for sushi. Wait, I have to... I, I have to use another knife. Mm. Hindi pa siya dapat tinibig lang dito. Maduduro. Pag fish kasi dapat dahan-dahan. I, 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 Pero wala na siya. Uh, ah. Uh, dito sa part na to wala. Kasi belly to. So yung, ne- yung may tinig kasi sa tuna is yung sa sides niya. Yung loin. Tsaka yung ano. So I have to just get through. Imagine no, even this knife can't get through the... But though, this side, this side, kaya naman ito. Kaya naman. Nila both actually, itong side natin. With much resistance. Pero the other side is very tough because of the scales. May umungot. There you go. Kasi ang lalaki ng mga skill niya. TBNJ. Oo. Masarap ba yung TBNJ? Actually, ano siya? Very subjective siya. Pwede pagbukas ng ko. Oo, bukas ka ng ko. So, ito na yung medyo malaking malaking TV akin. I have this two na pa nga. Hello, stream! Hello, stream. Naligo po kami para dito. Ako naliligo talaga ako. Ewan ko sa'yo. Okay, then let's get in the pack. Hi, stream. Did you notice the new tablecloth? <laughs> It's just 88 pesos. Wonder by Coke. <laughs> Wala kaming tubig sa ref, pero may Coke. <laughs> Sponsored by Coke. Okay, we have a very big pan to address. Para sa ayong pang is 14 na yung I don't want to cook the meat uh, longer than than what is needed. So I want to I want to get pang. Pang is good for sinigang. Um, LC Coke, Coke is healthy action. It's vegan. <laughs> okay, so I think uh, ito yung kailangan natin ng may konting violence. Ang kukunin lang naman natin ng na part is this high part. Eh. Uh, mabaho talaga to kasi ito ay may bone. So, we are going to okay. slice this. It's only about 30 minutes from... We are just using this part actually, this one. Is that knife going to get through that? Yes, it did. <laughs> I, 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 hence the weight. Akala ko, ang balat ng tuna, ganyan lang sa buong part? No. Yung makilis. Merong scale talaga ang tuna, pero super fine. We're just using this much because we are... Yeah, it's the cheek, it's the cheek. So I'm using this part for the soup. But I'm keeping the rest because we can cook more than that. Yeah. So, maybe we slice So, I think I have to wipe. Huh? Wipe the floor. What is Yeah. Sorry, 
Okay. So we're actually keeping that uh, this way so that it doesn't cook uh, fast. You just watch some Doctor Who. Love it. Oh, hi, the only deaf guy. Welcome to welcome to the stream. Oh yeah, it's your uh, it's your first time here. I mean, if I am correct. <laughs> So actually we're done. We're done with the prep work, so we are just cleaning up. And next is we'll be cooking. So we're keeping the panga. We're just uh we're gonna sear this panga also. Uh before we stir fry. So we'll be putting it aside with our other tuna steaks, so belly steaks. And washing our things because we don't want them to get smelled. Doctor Who, I, I believe, uh, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, I think uh, my dad actually watched that. Hmm. I don't know why I didn't have the chance to watch Doctor Who before. Since you are using this, this for your soup, this packaging, you will be keeping it in the freezer for another another day. You don't need that much. Freezer for that. Naro pa pala tayo isang day. binuksan ko nga kanina yung tuna yung para ihiwalay ng lalagyan lumapit silang apat <laughs> when, when, when I was opening the packaging for the tuna that was delivered earlier the four cats were like uh, what the hell is this what's this smell the day uh, they, they were uh, they were all near me okay so Let's put the cream first for uh, this. Uh, what do you call this? Kinilaw. So as you can see, it's already whitening up. It's oxidizing to uh, the uh, what do you call this? The mix, the brining mixture that we uh, added earlier. So the red is now a bit of a white. 
So I think we can put the the milk now. We'll just uh, get a little and store it for our future use. Salted and fried. Can I the drink? You keep you keep your you you keep your kinilaw in the brine so that it doesn't go bad. Uh, kasama yung coconut milk sa mababrahin. Parang cheese. Hindi na siya mapapanis. Hindi na siya mapapanis agad. Pero, ayun na nagro-react nga actually yung kasi yun eh. It's already bubbling. Yeah, masarap siyang parang ano, sisig yung lalabas sa kanya. Eh, kinilaw kasi yung ano eh. Mm -hmm. Diba ito na yun? Oo. Yung ano yun? May... Yun naman, uh, we... Oh, we ate at, we, we ate one time at Kiku Fuji in, ano, in Makati. And they served, I think, um, uh, some pokey style na, parang pokey style yun na, ano uh, Pokey style na tuna. So they serve pokey style tuna uh, under under uh, a serving of ano atempura fries. I forgot I forgot the what you call them. It's not katsuboshi. It's it's not katsuboshi. It's another thing. So do you think the the milk, the coconut milk is enough? I just put about a tablespoon. And the sauce is already like this. Actually, yun yung isip ko. For Visaya, that's perfect. So, we can try this. I know, I don't want to split it into batches because it's hard to, harder to store multiple ano, multiple of the same food in the fridge. But we will be giving this to the neighbors also. <laughs> because we, can, we, can't, uh, get, we can't dispose of it in our tummies that, much, uh, that fast. So, ano, it's uh, the usual tradition in the Philippines, a uh, sharing dinner. <laughs> and they have they have you to thank for it. <laughs> okay, so I think we're gonna let it brine some more and we will start preparing for our cooking. So we'll be searing, uh, we will be, no, we will be first doing this. You got the coconut vinegar in your area. Actually, coconut vinegar is hard to come by. So, the next best thing I think that you can get is... Uh, no, it's hard to come by here. Coconut mostly comes in bottles labeled pinakurat. Ah, nice. Actually, I like uh, I like uh, coconut vinegar, but it's hard to come by. And when it comes, it uh, comes by, it doesn't usually taste like the one that I tasted before. Yeah, that's why uh, that's the reason why it's hard to come by here. <laughs> There's not many people who make coconut uh, vinegar here. And the mo mostly the ones you get in the grocery aren't actually coconut, but cane, with a mix of coconut. Hi, musika! Coconut wine. So, talaga. Ano ka talaga? Wait lang. I think we should add a little more coconut. Uh, no, just a little more. Yeah, that's it. And let's mix. Because I, want to, I think I want to taste the coconut more. Let's just mix a little bit. So this is the tourist style now. 
Although it's not really that much. Okay, the, the tuna is already cooking really good. Let's just leave it in the brine for. Let's leave it. Let's leave it in the brine again. And let us cook our tinola. So I'll be using again. I'll be using the wok that we used before. There's one over there. Next week I know. Isip ko pa. Isip ko ako mag-pizza ako next week. Pizza! Tsaka ano? Pizza and pasta. Pizza and pasta. Oh, mag-bake pasta sa buong tayo. Pinoy is then. Pero yung pizza natin sa akin. Hindi ako papayag na hindi sa akin. Pwede rin yung chicken tikka masala. Ah, sige. Chicken tikka masala tayo. So here is our friendly neighborhood brick. Brick is about to break. Yeah, brick is about to break. Bakit dyan? Bakit? Hindi ko mo lang. Pasigil. Wala ka masasaksakan dyan. Yun. Okay. Oh, I'll be standing up now. So, so hello guys. <laughs> I'll just be raising my webcam like that. There you go. I'll pass on the lamabong bin there. And it's the I think it's lambanog. Oh, alam ba nung? Kasi kokot po na to yun. Marami nang namatay sa lamba. Yeah, there's actually a lot of people who already died because of lamba nung. Pero yung ano yung because of the chemical chemical they use for cleaning the oh the ano yung pangok yung ano wala stringa mo? Huh? The refresh ka? Kasi tumatakbo ba siya sa akin? That's near death experience. Yeah, near death experience. Exactly. But you survived. <laughs> because there are tons of people who, who aren't lucky enough. Who weren't lucky enough. So we'll be uh, searing our... I know, we'll be doing our ano first. Doing our stir fried brown, uh, you call this? Spring onions. So let's heat uh, this thing up first. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'll raise the camera a little bit so that uh, everyone can see. I think, no, no, no. no. Sorry about that. <laughs> My camera is good. There you go. There you go. Exactly what I want. Hmm? Hindi, ano ko muna to? I... Papa, ano ko muna yung... I fry ko muna to. I'll just fry this. I want to get this to brown so that we can address our our kinilaw in this on I with this and that the oil that's left can be used to sear our tuna so that it will give off a great flavor so it will technically be infused it's an infused oil I think we need more oil for this. Because, uh. Yeah, we're infusing a lot more oil. Hmm. 
Yo FSN juga. You want to brown. You want to brown. Ini apa bebe itu? So we're just browsing the stuff before we start hearing our sound. Eh, sama tu lah tu nak. Think a little hotter would go faster. Running up for real good. Once it will, we take it out dry. Then we're, we will be left with an oil that's infused with spring onions. So we just want to get them as brown as we can. Para i-drain yung ano, yung ito. Kasi gusto ko ito medyo crunchy para. Kaya ko siya binabrown actually. I want this spring onion to be uh, quite crunchy. So that it will give, give contrast to uh, the slightly chewy uh, kilawin. So we're, we're also gonna top it with a little bit of uh, seaweed. Just a little bit, pero it's for personal preferences. Tuba, yeah, tuba. It's in Bisaya. It's in Bisaya. Lambanog in Tagalog, northern Tagalog, eh, southern Tagalog. But. Okay, we're getting to a point that we like. So, just a little more and we'll be getting them all. Mga pala Bisaya nga pala si, ano, musika. Bango. Okay, I'm just gonna crisp it up for a little bit. Crunchy ka dyan. Crunchy. If 
if you can smell this, it smells so good. So we're just gonna drain uh, the oil that uh, we get with with the crisp up. Uh, Bring on in. So once it once it if uh, once it crisps up in the air, uh, we can top it on uh, our kinilaw. But now we just have to drain it first. Get rid of the oil. don't have to remove everything, we just have to remove the most of it so that it won't burn when we sear our tuna. Just the skin side though. If you can hear the crunchiness of it against the wall, yeah, we're we're gunning for that. Okay, so we will get another towel just to drain it off a little bit more. So we put one up top and one in the bottom, so that you can you can catch all the oil. So it already got much of the oil. There you go. Okay, now what's next is we will be searing these guys. So we're actually doing everything in one pan. It's not a half. It's uh, it's not practical. It's for the flavor. So let's keep we get this to a very high temp. Around five on my settings. So we go first with the bellies. Let's put it in a separate plate. So I'm just going to get a new logo. Okay, so remember we are just searing uh, skin side down. Then after it cooks, uh, we the next time we will cook it is in the soup. So let's just pick one. And we are cooking it by not that much, just searing out the skin and that's it. Actually, setting on low. I think this one is already good. Uh, a little more. The first one might be done already, so let's just get this out from underneath and put it here. Huh? Hold on. 
Okay, uh, this one is done. Definitely done. So you just need a little, a little bit of this, and we are done with this. So yeah, taking that. You don't want to cook uh, the tuna too much, so it's good also. We are actually uh, cooking it on very low fire, although some of the tuna will get cooked eventually. We will be, we'll be cooling them all. So that we can cook the tuna and we can steep the tuna. So I think this is almost done. Yeah, it is. Almost done, a little bit more. Okay, so that's gonna do it. So this. this will do it for that. Okay, that's good. And then we'll pocket the rest of the way in the soup. So we will now be sauteing. We'll be uh, searing this first so that we get all the flavor. Flavor of the tuna in the soup. Yun. Yung tinola na na-research ko kasi, yun lang yung gulay. Ang ano niya, focus niya yun. So this is gonna be a very tasty treat after you eat. <laughs> no, why are we eating it? So with this one, we're gonna sear it on all sides so that we don't, we don't dry out the organs and the meat inside. So yeah, we're, we're searing it right now. On a moderately high temperature. So once we are done searing it, we can put it, push it to the side and start uh, stir frying all the vegetables that we slice. I think uh, we are good with the steel sides already. Put it to the side and stir fry everything we have. So we'll be starting with the garlic. We want to get it to at least a little bit of a nutty garlic flavor. Because we want it to flavor the soup. That's it. This is uh, how we cook tuna, huh? Ay, this is how we cook tinola talaga. We stir fry. Uh, personally, I stir fry all the vegetables first. Don't just boil them. Huh? Ano pa yan? Matika din kasi ito eh. So while that's cooking, we can uh, start with our ginger, so that we can uh, release the flavors of the ginger. Okay, I'm going to So we put it skin side down so that it won't burn the meat. Done with that, we put the onions next. So we'll put the onions here. We are we are going the practical uh, style of cooking. So we just put everything in one pan. Yeah, could be perfect. Yung lulutuin mo sa labas talaga to, sa kalayok. 
what would be better for your suggestion is having to cook it in a crock pot. I, I mean, a uh, earthen pot. Yeah, that's why I'm streaming and I am not Visaya. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> So we just want to get a, a little color on our uh, onion because we are still gonna cook it under under a broth. Okay, so next is we want to uh, sear our tomato. But after this, we will be putting in the broth. Then, Although unlike uh, the chicken tinola, chicken tinola is usually uh, the chicken first thing. Chicken first then the broth later. We'll be doing the inverse because we want the, the fish to be not overcooked. Oh, no. So Amabel is just taking over because I'm going to open the windows. set this aside on the side because we want to burn the onions a little bit I, I mean burn the chilies a little bit before we put in the stock so we put it on the side where no, there is no oil oh, no, no. Okay, once we get a burn, we will be putting into the water. We will be putting in our base. So our base are is a uh, half uh, water and half rice washing. Okay. It's gonna get a little bit sticky though. So when it gets sticky, uh, we can add add a few more uh, cups of water. So I think uh, the, gar the the chilies are doing well. Okay, so I just leave on one side. I think we're good to go. Okay, we can put in our uh, liquid now. So okay, that's just enough. Wow, it smells like sinigang. Actually, medyo magamis sinigang ansha. Yung Yung recipe for this actually uh, is more of a sinigang style. So since we are not eating the lemongrass naman, let's just put the ano, the stems into the leaves so that we can remove it easily. We, al we already pre-bruised this, no? so I think we're good to go. We will be putting it right here in the middle. So we will be getting the soup from that one. Then we will be putting in our seared uh, tuna after it starts to boil so that it doesn't overcook and there's a leftover on it <laughs> so we're gonna cover that up and let it uh, cook for see, for the next heat tool i think i want more water on this so Uh, a 
this is getting water from the same thing again. So just uh, wait beside it with the zoom on. Pwede ikaw lang din yung gutom. <laughs> I actually got about uh, a quarter kilo of uh, for the kilaw and I got actually around a kilo total of sal uh, of tuna so half of the half for the panga and half for this one half for the belly so I think it's a, it's actually ano, a pretty uh, the, bu the budget that I give is exactly what it turned out to be, including the other ingredients like the tanglad and the, the rest. So we'll be switching to ano na, this one. We'll just be sinking this one and using it more so that we get a proper broth. So we want actually the, the kamatis to be a uh, very soft once we cook it. So let's push it to a hard boil first. I locked up my local fishmonger already. My wife might kill me. <laughs> so, it's around, I think, a little more than one kilo. I think they gave me a little bit excess. Because, because I promised I would be shouting them uh, out on our stream. So again, shout out for... I'll, I'll just show the logo on my web... Uh, on the camera. Again, shout out to our friends at Jam Trading. Jam Seafood Trading. Uh, they are the ones who supplied us here with uh, our tuna today. So they supply fresh and frozen, but they they either, they also supply sushi grade tuna and uh, salmon. So shout out to our friends there. Two thousand five hundred. Here I think this tuna belly is around I think uh, four hundred fifty to five hundred per kilo. It depends on, uh, I think the loins are more expensive because they are the ones that are used for sushi. Okay, I want to put a little bit of, since it's simmering in a, a little bit, I want to put a little bit of uh, fish, fish sauce to give it uh, that umami flavor more. Let's let it cook. So we are just, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty expensive tuna. We're just waiting with about a quarter of a cup, I think. It's around a quarter, no, one cup. Pala. It's around one cup of water. Uh, roughly 250 ml. So that when uh, the soup evaporates, we can refill it and start boiling. Actually, I haven't tried tinola with the uh, coconut milk, so I want to try it in the future. And I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I think it's still tinola, and they, I think I think Kuya J serves that. I am not sure, but I think I've seen that in their menu. Tinola with gata. So let's just get it to our rolling boil. Rolling boil. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you for the follow, Suchi. Thank you so much and thank you for watching with us. We are making tinola today and we already, uh, actually, this is this, uh, what do you call this? This kilawin is already done. So it's ready to eat. And I am excited to eat it. I think I'm gonna taste it a little bit later. And whatever is left over from that and giving to the neighbors. Um, okay. Yeah, whatever is left over from that, I can turn into tuna sisig. <laughs> But uh, poetic Y99 might, might kill me. 
Or do I, do I fool? <laughs> Sorry about the horns. <laughs> Sorry about the car horns. So uh, I'll just uh, uncover it for a bit, and we are getting a good boil, but not yet. Uh, we are not steeping it. Ah, ano lang yun? Um, yung yung scouring talaga. Hana. Scary. I'm not sure if the audio is very loud. Uh, I think the electric fan is uh, interfering with the audio. Okay, uh, Deadly Night Nightmare Queens. Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, hope you're enjoying our uh, tinola today. This is a very different tinola to the usual tinola that we eat in the Philippines. Not many people actually eat tinola, uh, fish tinola. Not many. I think uh, tinola is usually eaten as chicken. So I think we are good with this. Yeah, we need to stir it up a bit so that we can agitate the bottom. So may pag na kita Rice? No. Kilawin. Ah, ano na? Plate. Uh, my wife will be plating the kilawin. <laughs> Okay, we just need to get the lemongrass under the sauce and we need to batter it a little bit more so that we get more of the lemongrass flavor but the chilies are good we don't want to rupture them we don't want this too spicy okay so uh, i think in a few minutes when it starts i we can add a little bit more water more water the better because we will be steeping our tea in that water We got tons of malonggay actually. Not that many eat fish tinola. Sobrang dami talaga nilang namimiss. Imagine mo yun. Yung, yung ano na nga lang eh, yung fact na nga lang na ang hirap magluto ng fish pag uh, nasa studio unit ka tas walang ano, walang, ang tawag dito? Walang ventilation. Nakakasad siya kasi asarap na fish eh. So we put the, these guys in a little bit later so that they don't burn. Okay, so for our kilowin, we have plated a little bit of the kilowin. It looks so nice. We should put a little of our brown, uh, brown leeks and our topping of green onions. And there you go. Looks so good. I show you something. Wait, we are putting one more thing. We want to taste it like the we we want it to taste like the ocean. It will taste like the ocean with seaweed. So we're putting a little bit of the seaweed that we have. We have kimnori, kimnori seaweed. So it's this one. So it's not traditional, but I think it will help a lot. So this is uh, the tuna kilawin. And I'm excited to taste it. Ah, poetic wine, I hope you can see this. This is the product of our labor. <laughs> so I think we're getting a good boil, but not good. You have to taste the soup, the soup first. So I'm getting a sample of this. And taking everything in along with the, the, the tomatoes okay you will taste it mm. Mm. a little more milk but the curl is there I think I can let's another let's let it steep for a little bit more the taste the spice I think it can go better with a little bit of more salt. Okay. But it's so good. Come on, come on. I'm going to cook. I'm 
pinipunin mo lang yung tunay mo. Baka may makuha kang chiki. Konting, asa, konting alat, pero... Sarap. Especially the... Especially the tunay is so fair. Hindi naman mama. Parang kaya naman naman. Hindi. Okay. So okay, um, we can actually remove the tongue lad na at this point. Huh? Yeah, it's already uh, it it actually already did its job. It's already uh, smelling real nice. So we can uh, remove it now and just uh, leave the onions there. Ginagyan yung cabbage. Buhat yeah, after na pa yung gulay? Yeah. Huh? Buhat pa yung gulay. Ah, para ano? Buhay pa yung gulay. Okay, um, let's oh. just... Oops! <laughs> Stayed in the air too long. Wait lang. We are extracting this already because we are already gonna steep. Put this on the side. Maybe we could leave this for now so that it, it can add more flavor to our uh, fish. But we will... Uh, Make the fire a little bit lower until it's not boiling anymore and we'll steep it for about 20 to 30 minutes. Let's just get rid of that bubble right there. It's hot still. Let's taste the broth first before we steep. We need to adjust. a bit more. Okay, it needs a little bit more. Hmm, kailangan pa ng ano. Kailangan niya ng konti pang ano. Umami. So, I think we need more. <laughs> yeah, patis. Patis. But the, ano, but the aroma is there already. So, I think we need to scratch a little bit more of the fond. And a little, uh, and scratch a little bit more of the pang. Easy steep ko lang sila. So let's just press the panga a little bit so that gives off that flavor. Scratch it, scratch it. And then it's already falling apart. Though. Okay, then just leave that on for a few more minutes like tea and we will. Nakikita niyo yung webcam mo, mga nanginginahin ako mga nanginginahin. Pero, We haven't salted it yet. <laughs> so pepper and salt. So little.
think we can already skip the tuna. So we are just maintaining a very constant speed that's not boiling, but uh, not uh, full enough. So we'll be dipping our tuna into the boiling, not boiling, we'll be steeping it. So that doesn't overcook. And time it at around 20 to 30 minutes. So we will be checking first at 20 minutes, the next at 30 minutes. So we hope that nobody falls apart while we are cooking. That, that, that right there and this one. Ano pa siya? Medyo nasa... Natawag dito? Nasa... Hindi pa ganun pa. Kira ko pa asman. Wait, I forgot something. Fish bullion. <laughs> Wait, I, I am adding a little bit of fish bullion so that we get more umami. I don't have MSG. And we might run out of, uh, what do you call this? Fish sauce if we push it too much. cheating a little bit because we are lacking uh, the bullion factor of the soup so we are putting in just one cube of shrimp we just want to bolster the sauce but other than that the soup is actually quite good I just want to make it a little bit Actually on a very low heat. So while we wait, how is it going to be? Is it going to be a little bit of 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 not overcooked but we need more time let's just spread the malunggay there and wait
Bagyan ko ng konting patis. Kapag-gapig. Expensive. So I'm, I'm just sending it this one over to the neighbors so sour kinilaw kilawin sorry So guys, what do you think? I think I I, I want to experience winter somewhere where uh, there's snow because the last time I experienced winter, there wasn't any snow. <laughs> we have to go to the mountain, but I want to experience the one in the driveways. Although that would be quite uh, hectic and problematic. I want to experience it. I want to experience this it at least at least once. Tapos nira pa magsalita at least once. Tapos mo pumunta pa tayo dun ano? Hotel ba yung dalil? Just had an accident with the night. Ayun na. Buo na. Yang puti paling sih. Bukan sana bu. Makanya kita tahu. Di kau cina cina. Cuma mesti. Cuma mesti. Tiap kali ada orang. Hey, mama step. Her neighbor is actually watching. Shout out ke mama step. Makanya. So we don't want to overcook it, but look at that sauce. It looks like sinigang, but it's not sinigang. It smells like sinigang, but it's not. You know, look at that. That's the, that's a perfect cook right there. It's white and not uh, white and flaky, but not falling apart. So that's the best way you can cook uh, tuna bay. Huh? Dagit yah, nak kau edit nado dudut kau, para makita kau lagi bang. Hmm, yon, 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 yon. Ah, tapi kau ngan, 
dala ko rin kayo nung ito na tinola. So as with the culture in the Philippines, we bring uh, ulam to our neighbors. And our neighbors bring ulam to us. <laughs> so I think this is done. Um, I just uh, shut it off. So we are ready to eat. We just re let's just remove the tanglad. Because it gets bad when it keeps too long. So usually, uh, when we serve this siguro, uh, you can you can have the tanglad on the side just for accent, but that's it. Because uh, tanglad ta lemongrass has a very strong flavor kasi, and very strong aroma. That you don't want that steeping in your soup for too long, especially if you like soup that's not very minty. I'm trying to find other springs. <laughs> And I think they're under there and I can't reach them. And there you go. Okay. And there you go. That's one more. Two more. Two more. Shout out to Elbo! <laughs> <laughs> Talking face, spaceport. Okay. I think we are good. Ready to serve. Not in politics, no? <laughs> but ready to serve. Allergic to allergic to most <laughs> triggers, but as they said, anything that did not kill you only makes you a man stubborn. <laughs> There's always a Benadryl. <gasps> Tada! Huwag na daw kasi sumulang. Alright, I think it's time to eat. Time to eat na? Oo. Oh. Eh... Gawa ako na ito ba? Go, go. Just put, uh... Things we don't need in the sink. Next stream, butter trees. Next stream, butter trees. Butter. Butter. Smooth like butter. May ano, si Bam Bam. Hmm. Bam Bam. Bam Bam. Yung sa God 7. Uh -huh. Nag ano siya, live sa IG. Uh -huh. Tapos Pinoy yung, tinry niya lang yung feature na ano, may call. Eh parang may kajoy. Uh -huh. Sa IG. Uh -huh. Sakto Pinoy yung ano. Kapag sweat mo yung sabi ng Pinoy. Sabi ng Pinoy, bom bom! Ito sabi ni Bam Bam. Mm. No, it's Bam Bam. Bam Bam! Ito lang. Phone ko lang ito. 
after use, you should always hold your knives. It's time to kumain ng kilawin. Is it awo? Yes. Maka ilang kilawin first time for... ko lahat yan. Maka ilang kilawin. Yung ano, yung tinola first time. Pero yung kilawin, mapag kilawin pork natin. Pero yun, medyo luto kasi yun. Hindi siya legit na kilawin. Yan <laughs> Ang sarap kumuha lang ako. Butas, ibrawin ako kaya. Sarap na. Ah, kung nga eh. Grabe ako. Pati pala ako lang. Hindi, tapos na yan. Ah, tapos na pala. Oo. <laughs> tapos na yan, kanina pa. Ano, ay, ayoko nga siya pakuluin kasi masisira yung tuna. Eh, yung pagbibigay. Ah, sige na lang. Let's get some. Let's get some for the neighbors. A little, uh, a little cheek. The cheek should be left as the last one to be eaten. Not sini gang. What is it? I don't know. It's tinola, but it's not chicken. You know, we will be giving this uh, to our neighbor. What about that? Pah, na naman sa mga. So, uh, we will be eating. I will be eating this real good. I am so excited and ready. <laughs> My body is ready. So, uh, we will be taking the first taste of this uh, in a few minutes after uh, my wife gets back. But I'll set up um, a kililaw for my own. It just works. It just works real good. And the cucumber is uh, super refreshing. While the chili actually uh, accentuates the freshness of uh, the tuna. So, although for me, I think I would put a little more fish sauce. Hello, I'm going to put it in the middle. Huh? I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm going to put it in the fish sauce. Okay. And set it up with the fried. Saan? Dito rin. Okay. And a little of the nori. <laughs> Which might be offensive to some. Why? Ay! Bakit? Gumagana ba ito? Oo, oh, gumagana yan. Pwede nga kayo dito. Okay, okay lang. Let's see! Let's see! Oh, yan. Ito muna yung sinetap ko na kilala for us. Okay, I'll get uh. Oh, yes. Tapos yung panga siguro sa ano uh, kung hindi na maubos yun yun yung abunan niya. Dapat gusto niya sa siya. I don't know. Kaya niya naman. So you can do it. Sorry, it's so bleak because we only have one of those, one of these, one of these. Wait, lang. I'll try to get it as tight as I can. Oya pa sa bow. Oya pa sa bow, wait, lang. Yeah, there we go. Sige. Do sa gitna ng kani. Next, okay na po. 
Hi bird. Kain ka. Ako ka dito. Ako ka ng tuna. Hindi, si Plain siguro. Yan, musika o. Tignan mo, sinasabaw namin yung kanin. Mmm, sarap. Di ba? <laughs> Tinola, but, uh, but it's tuna. So, kung the tuna is good, you know, let me show you. It's flaking and it's juicy. So, it's not, uh, it's not falling apart. And there's still a little redness there. That's the perfect cook for tuna. If you're putting tuna in a soup. Madali lang naman i-adjust lang ito na wala. Kung matabang siya sa'yo, patis. <laughs> Or for me, I think it's just right. As, syempre, meron tayo kinilaw. Spicy. It's a little bit spicy if you eat, eat the chilies. Syempre, kasi nga you eat the chilies. Habang tumatagal yung kinilaw, lalang sumasas. So before we uh, stop talking and start eating uh, real fast, I would first like to thank our uh, everyone in the stream. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed our tinola and uh, Kilowin stream today. So, thank you also to Poetic Wine for sponsoring this episode. Uh, this episode would not have been possible without uh, Poetic Wine. So, also thank you uh, to our supplier. Okay, one more time, let's flash our supplier at Jam Seafood Trading. So, if you want to order, they are at. They have a branch at. Uh, Farmers Kubao, Farmers Market Kubao. So it's easy to get hold of them. So just go to their Facebook, Facebook, and uh, you can order from there. So either you can order a few days in advance, or you can order on the day. So it doesn't matter. The the difference is uh, depends on what they stock that day. So they also do sushi and uh, sashimi. So. And uh, and they are very good at it. They have good reviews. They have a good track record. So uh, if you want tuna or salmon, uh, you can try them out. Mm. My needs just a little bit of fish sauce. Just a little bit. Okay, so the reason why we steep instead of boiling is we don't want the uh, we don't want to obliterate the fish because it's a very good cut of uh, tuna belly. So we want the fish to be uh, soft yet uh, cooked properly. So so that's that. <laughs> Ako may ari ng tent nito. Huwag kayo. May kasi ang sipon. 
Ay, hindi ko napansin. Hindi ko napansin. Hindi ko So this is some sort of mukbang. Some sort of mukbang. Mhm. Ano kung ano yung part na? Hmm. Ano kung ano? Ba. Kaya yung ano eh yung silver skin. Oh, kaya na ako yung kanin ng dito. Ano siya? Mapayet na? Hindi. Saan siya masal? Fish scale. Ada lewang rice nak. Kau dah nak senang sebab kau guna 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 rice washing. Starchy. Her shell is still there. Hmm. No, it's not. It's not. Kilawin to follow. And that this is uh, the way I want the uh, tomato. You know, a very, a very, very soft. So good. So again, uh, thank you everyone for so being with us. Hmm? So good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> God. I'm just getting a little bit of hope. Little bit, you no? Know? Hashtag. Mo lang little bit yan, Kuha ka, kuha ka nung meat, nung meat niya. Mas ano yan, mas super ano yan, super fall of the bone niya. Oh. Ano yan, tagal niya niluluto eh, tsaka boil yung sa kanina. Mas matigas kasi yun. Ito yung color. Diba? 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 And that is the color there. Ay, ah, ah! Oh! No, oh! Ah, may ano, ang ginamit natin na broth, broth cube sa kanya ay shrimp. Oh, man. Malobo ba yung labi ko? Hindi naman. Ba't piling ko makakal? So while you're hearing this, uh, thank you so much for the sponsor. <laughs> thank you very much for 
sponsoring this episode and hopefully we can mm. keep you keep you uh, excited for the next episodes. Sarap no recipe. The recipe is so good. For me, ah. <laughs> Working ko yung ganito patabang sa iba. Ano siya eh, mas, mas ano siya, yung lasa niya mas ma... Umami. Ano yung Tagalog mo? Malinamnam. Mm. 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 Ang naman dapat malinamnam. Mas malinamnam kesa ano. Hala. Kaya nga marami pa rin nagsasawsawan sa pinuno niya. So what do you guys think we should um, talk next week? I was actually thinking of uh, doing pizza with my, I uh, know, with my patented, patented, <laughs> sardo starter. So I would be making the, the starter on Friday so that it would be a little bit more pungent by uh, Sunday. Mm. Mm. Sarap guys, sarap. Ah, na ba kayo? Kasi kami pabusog na eh. <laughs> hmm. Ano LC papa ano? Papa adapt ka na. Punta <laughs> na dito. Sa so, tas ang ano, ang saya pa ng combination niya kasi at masarap na sabaw. Sa so, ano, ang sarap ng kilaw. Oh, parang ano, bagay din, bagay siya sa mga akasayin ginger. Hmm. Sa tahong. <laughs> hmm. Ano, lahat ng kasipo din dyan. Ano pa yung sabaw pwede lutuin doon sa pang sinigang? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kaya pala ang coke. Oh, Masayo kasi yung coke. Ayun! Ah! Ang lupa ba si Bird? Si? Ano sa loob si Bird? Oo, oh, yun. Tutulog. Gagoy yun. Pinaalis si Bird. Sa kanya nga lang kasi yung tin. Tsaka pag mamayari niya yung lahat na nasa loob ng tin, pati si Glenn. Nasaan siya ba? Ah, nangangapalin labi ko. Pakiramdam. A little bit. Bilis na ang luto natin ngayon, ha? Magkakaano pala? Uh, kaka-3 hours pala ako makumakain tayo. Malas na luto natin, na oras. Deadly Nightmare Queens. Hmm, na-shoutout ko siya kanina ng nag-sup. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
Baka sa'yo ano yan, si Mom Step, si Susie. Suchi? Chicken tikka masala. Start from scratch. Okay. Chicken tikka masala tayo next. Wala yung pizza. Next, next, sit na lang yung pizza. Matindihan kung ano kasi yun eh. Preparation ng start na ano. Start na. Kailangan pag nag-prepare ako ng starter, gawa din tayo ng pizza. Ready na ba ang mga pusa sa blender? Shit, may mga... Uh, Nawa naman yung mga yun. Woo! I am stuffed. I'm just uh, finishing up the rest of my rice. Ang sarap talaga nito. Crunchy. Ah, uh, pwede pa lang ganun yung monitor. Hmm. Bakit hindi buo ito? <laughs> hmm? This way, the other. Okay, for next week we got two choices. You can either go uh, the pizza route, pizza route, or you can go chicken tikka masala. So if you want uh, one of those, or if you want um, kilawin tuna. Hi, fan. Ano, kilawin tuna and tuna tinolo. Tuna tinolo. Sarap na gabi. Ano, ito yung, ano, ito yung tuna job. Falls off. Kuha lang kasi ako papapakin ko yung tuna job. <laughs> Ayun nga pala. Bayar. Dahil dito sa episode na to gagaling ka na daw. <laughs> Para healing galing yun. Hmm. Ah, kaawa na si Fendi. Para magaling yung ipin nyo. Sa ano yung kinakain na? Liquid. Liquid diet ka pa rin, ha? Hi daw. Hello! Kita ba si Batman? Hi! Sabi ng anak namin. <laughs> ano yung kinakain mo? Namimistin na kumain. Itlog. Lugaw. Hello! Tsaka yogurt. Ang sad nun. Try mo yung lugaw ni ano. Lugawan. Lugaw. Ah. Lugawan. Sa Instagram na o-order. Oo, <laughs> bago bawal din siya sa itlog. Bawal. Ah, kasi mag ano. Mag, Magkaka-inflammation ka. Ay, oo. Oh, ang tagal na niya na. Ano? Operation. Di ba ano? Wala siyang post-op na antibiotics. Kasi nag-cycle siya nung before. So, mas matagal, mas matagal ang healing compared dun sa pag-negativiotics. Oo. Oo nga, malansa. 
pag ano ka, maging flame ka. Ay. Oh. Ayos lang, may kumaka to. Ay, may heat pala dito. Ayan ang foto-foto galing kailangan mga step. Guys, so, yung binibigyan na, binibigyan namin ng ano, ng kilawin tsaka ano. <laughs> ang exchange, ang exchange gift namin is nilagang buto-buto. <laughs> so, raw. So, okay. Ano ba? Ito tomorrow. Oh, isa-stack na namin to for tomorrow kasi busog na. Busog na kami. Busog <laughs> Ay, sabi na. Baby boy ko, gutom na yan. Late bloomer yung pagmaga ng gums ko. Oo nga. Akin na yung sabaw. Kung pwede, kung kaya, kung kaya lang na kanam. Ay. Wait, so bawal din ba ang fish sa'yo? Diba? Oo, technically bawal, bawal ang fish. Bawal din ang fish. Oo. Oo. So bawal ka na ng manok, bawal ka pa ng fish. Bawal ka pa itlog. Bawal ice cream. May itlog nga pala ice cream, no? <laughs> bawal din ang ice cream. Mga malas sa bawal. Ang oh, sorry. Baka yung mga ice cream na vegan pa. Pwede, pwede ice cream. <laughs> Hindi pwede tanggalin sa'yo. Hmm. Ice cream na plain? Ah, oo. Oh, oh. Eh, yung ano, melona. <laughs> Kaso kakagatin mo yung melona. Oh, di rin niya makakagat. Oh. Ang oh. sad mo. Tapos ang tagal na. Pa- paano ka mag- paano ka magpa-phasmophobia niyan? <laughs> Hala, eh di ano. Okay na diet yun. <laughs> <laughs> Bawal may mga nuts. Paano ka nag-go, nag-work? Nakalive ka? Nakalive ka or nag-work ka pa rin? Pag ako yun, di ako mag-work. Oo nga eh. Ako rin yan mag-live talaga. <laughs> oh pero dati nung ano, binunutan ako ng ngipin. Hinang-hina ako. Kaya... Uh, ano pa bang ito? Noong una, one week lang ako nakalibot. Oh, so, nadagdagan. Pang ilang week na ngayon. Pero sinagad ko na hanggang next week. So, mag... Eh, last week pa masakit ng meeting ko. So, okay, three, week, three weeks. Kaya nga, eh, paano ka magtuturo nang hindi ka maka... Ano, sandita na makaayos? Dapat ano... Dapat medical leave yan, mga ganong day din. Almost two weeks na. Anong age ba yung tinuturuan? Para doon niya kanta ng kaiki eh. Kaiki or kay ate. <laughs> oh. oh. Punta ka dito, pagluluto ka namin sabaw. Pagluluto ka namin ng masarap na lugaw ko. Yung lugaw na di mo na kailangan nguyain. Ah, <laughs> may nguyain na para sa'yo. <laughs> Baka boy ka di yun. Okay. Please schoolers sa kasi ate mo. Lee, punta ka dito. <laughs> yung biyahe pa lang ni Fen Pagod na siya. Ano <laughs> ba siya? Kabite, kabite siya. Das, da, dasma ka ba? O yung sa ano? Uh, Imus. Basta alam ko kabite si Fene, yung last, nung nagpadala tayo sa Sudo, kabite. Ah. Hindi ba Las Piñas? Hindi, kabite. Kaya eh. hey, di talaga pwede mo. Oo, Oo nga, no? Naalala ko nung nag-apply ako sa 51 Talk. Kailangan daw, <laughs> kailangan nga lively mag-tour. Ang hirap nun pag ganyan. Wala rin ma-absorb sila. Hindi <laughs> ako pwede magturo. Bakit? Wala. Feeling ko matatakot sa akin yung mga. Maganda. 
Hi. Hi. Dadaldalan. Hindi <laughs> yung gato mo pang ano. <laughs> At least gagawin nila yung assignment nila kasi takot sila sa akin. Tapos pag ano, uh, ma- ma- malulungkot sila pag di nila ginawa yung assignment. <laughs> pag ano, Miss... sa face-to-face. Miss oh, Lee Chin. Kayang dalawa sa likod, lumipat kayo dito sa harap. Bakit po ma'am? <laughs> wala lang. Wala lang. <laughs> so wala lang, bakit? <laughs> Nalala ko yung ano, yung isa kong teacher mm. ng bato ng eraser ng blackboard. Shame Sabi, ang iingay nyo, tahimik naman kami lahat. <laughs> Piling <laughs> namin ano, bad trip lang. Ako nga pala, ano. nag-ano nga pala, nag-gift sub nga pala. Inis ko, bakit 10 subs na ako? Bad trip so, lang sa pala, nung araw pwede, na yun. Pwede, Tapos, pwede. parang kadagalaw. Ingay lang ng pencil case, ganun, galit na siya, binato kami ng eraser, o. Oh. Nung prep teacher. kami. Prep pa kayo nun, eh? Eh, kasi diba, do, noon, nung mga, ay, hindi ko pala kayo ka-age. Nung prep pa yung batch namin, <laughs> ganun na mga teacher. Na mamalo ng na mamalo ng pencil. Na mamalo ng ruler. Tapos yung isa nakakatakot nung grade 2 na kami, may dala siyang meter stick. <laughs> Sobrang baby niya nung binibigay niya ng bata. Mas malupit 'yo ayon, may dalang meter stick. <laughs> Pero dapat din pa. <laughs> Ang pinakang naiinis ako na task, yung kapag uh, ikaw yung naka-assign sa blackboard. Mm, Tapos magpapagpag ka ng eraser. Tapos, mm. Ang papadala pa sa'yo, tatlo. Oo. Oh, oh. mm. Tapos pag di ka nagmadali, papagalitan ka pa. Ang kati kaya nga nung ano, Ay, yung powder ano. ng chalk. Eh yung... Hindi ko rin type yun kasi kumakapit yun sa pawis eh. Yung alam mo yung pagbabalik ka ng klasa mo gusto mag-CR kasi ano, kahit wala namang powder yung kamay mo, ano, nararamdaman mo na, na may something. Pangit ang chok eh. Buti na nga lang, in-outlaw na yung chok sa amin dati, nung first oh, year college. Oo, instant design sa palda yung chok. Kulay ano pa naman, dark. <laughs> dark, dark blue talaga yung palda namin. Yung, oh. ano. Yung, yung palda, yung uniform nila parehan ng Stella Maris na ta. Mm. Kilala, kilala yung ano yung uniform na Stella Maris dito. Yung mukhang sailor, yung iba about top si baba uh-huh. mahabang palda. Ayun. Ayun. Grabe nga, ano no? Nung, nung nag-aircon na kami, doon na tinanggal yung mga chok eh. Bawal na mag-chok Ay, sa Ang aircon lang sa amin yung computer room. First year high school yata kami nag Grabe, sobrang daming bawal sa school namin. Tapos, ang uh, sa girls, <laughs> sa girls, yung mga hair accessories, ang colors lang na pwede, uh, black, black brown. brown, dark blue. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Tapos, imaginin mo yun, mga bata, naka-black, dark brown, dark blue na accessories. Nag-accessories ka pa, diba? Kaya nga. Tapos, diba nauso noon yung butterfly na ano, na clip? Yung hair hair clip na butterfly. Yung gumagalaw, gumagalaw pa yung butterfly. <laughs> Kasi sa Catholic school. Ah, lalo nang, ah, ikaw din pala Catholic school ka rin pala. Ayun. Kaya pala yung dalawa, Catholic Paras school. Parang tayo. Rin. Tapos, ayun, lalo bawal yung, ba- ano, nauso kasi yung butterfly na yun. Sobrang dami nagsusuot ng ganun sa amin. Tapos, ayun, siguro naiirita yung mga teacher sa gumagalaw sa mga ulo namin. Eh, pinagbawal. Tapos, <laughs> tapos, ano, tawag dito, yung nauso yung haircut na, Pad- yung, yung hindi pantay, yung pahaba, yung, yung may sisi sa likod, tas pahaba sa harap. Oo. Grabe, pinagbawal din. Kailangan pantay lang. <laughs> Wala pala akong picture para bigay kay ano. Okay. Kay, kay ano. Okay. Pangalan, makakalimutan ko yung, yung, yung ano natin, yung supplier natin ng tuna. Oo. Kay Jam. Okay na ako mag-picture. Ano na lang, kukunin ko na lang doon sa live stream. Pero sige, picture ako na rin. Mas maganda mag-picture si Mabel kaysa sa akin. Eh. Ay, eto lagyan, kakainin ko. Lagyan mo na lang dito. Lagyan mo na ako ng medyo konti. Ay, oo, oh, ma- oh, bawal din sa amin yun. 
sa amin ang pinagbawal sa amin ano sa girls yung mga medyas na masyado na exit. Ah. Uh, okay. Teka. Bawal dangling, ganun. Bawal ang bracelet na colorful. <laughs> bawal bawal ang ano, bawal ang enjoyment in general. Tapos di ba ko ed naman kami? Nung high school kami, eh di, di ba si Bruce, kaibigan namin? Oo. Oh. May kaibigan kami lalaki. Tapos nagre-recess kami together. Tapos, ano, pinagalitan ng picture si, ano, si Bruce. Si, Ay, si Aradel. Si Aradel. Yung pag so, yung pagsususpecha na agad na may boy mag boyfriend girlfriend yung magkasama lang. Yun. Echo and you see. <laughs> Buti pa yung sa amin, nansek para rin yung sa amin eh. Kaya wala sila pakagayat naman di yung mga sudan. Huwag lang mabubuntis. Tsaka so, huwag lang, huwag lang may involve sa, ano sa, uh, tawag dito sa fraternity violence. Yun lang, yun lang yung dalawang ayaw, ayaw na ayaw talaga nila. Thank you. Padala na natin kay ano kay Jam. <laughs> Ganun din daw sa kanila. <laughs> eh, one mo ba? Bakit may video ko na? Ito ko nang, nang gumagal ng tuna. Ay, hindi. Kasi nga naman, ano nga pala yan nga pala. Inisip ko, parang may video nito. Ah. Yung ano, yung ate ko, um, high school siya nun. High school. Umaten hmm. siya ng 16th birthday ng kaklase niya. Hmm. Tapos nabalitaan dun sa school namin. Pinatawag siya sa principal's office. Tapos doon sa birthday party, kasama niya si mommy at daddy. What? Pero yun. Kaya yung nag-college ako, medyo nakahinga ng ate. Pero ano? <laughs> US, uh, at least US, kahit Catholic school ng USD, hindi ganun, hindi conservative eh. Nating yun sa bird sa atin. <laughs> Hindi pa na natin siya pinapakain. Ay, spadyo nga pala. Pinakain mo na ba sila? Pinakain mo na sila? Dinner? Ang akala ko may dinner na sila. Ano? Ano ka? Ba't 3 o'clock ka nag-start? Dinner? Oo nga. Eh... Pinakain mo naman sila ah. Pwede. Hindi o. Oh. Hindi pala. Kuhawa naman ang mga ating mga babies. Pwede. Pwede. Sige. Ay, Ay, Maria, kasi si Pwede. Hindi ko lang pang kilawin. Si Pain pa. Di ba nung nag-CR ako, paglabas ko, gumalit mm-hmm. siya. Kilawin. Tapos nung kilawin talaga ang kaadi. Uy, 73 na yung followers. Mm-hmm. Solid food. Pero hindi siya matigas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kaya lang yun. Yung ano lang, yung cucumber matigas. Pero yung tuna yun. Yes. Kaya lang masakit pa rin siguro sa tuna. Paano siya mapasok sa bibig mo? Ito. Ito yung green onion na pinrito naan kanina. Para crunchy yung ano. Tawag dito. Crunchy yung lalagay sa kanila. Kilawin. Masa-stress ako na alala ko yung gagawin ko na. Okay. 
Ay, alam ko sa ito yung table? Ito. Ah, okay. Oh, yung lalagyan. Somewhere. Somewhere. Hmm, go. Baka mag-e-end and read na rin ako in a few minutes. Thank you, friend. So, tingin ko, yun na yung, ito na yung ating end of episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed our Tuna Te Lola and Kilawin. So, hope, and I hope you'll be back on our other live streams, uh, such as uh, Fasophobia, ACNH, and the next week's cooking uh, live stream. So, again, to support so talaga ah good coma we are gonna enjoy it tomorrow and we are gonna enjoy the other the other parts of the tuna some other time I might be doing a uh, sinigang although I must I, 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 I might just give you a video of it I might not be uh, live streaming that because I'll be doing that in the middle of the week because the panga is so ideal for Sinigang. And I think uh, it's already your breakfast time. Because it's already 6.30. Oh, we finished early. Yeah, we finished early. We, we, we didn't take about 5 hours. But if we are doing pizza next week, uh, we will definitely take around five hours. Almost di dinner took the five hours. I am off. <laughs> A little more week. So again, um, I'm not sure if I'll be live streaming later. 
we might uh, we might need to do something but if uh, I am free I might be live streaming uh, Phasmophobia it depends on who I play with it's either Phasmophobia or uh, Animal Crossing or I, I might start with the Metal Gear Solid already I'm still not sure or I might not let go of streaming today and just rest for tonight because there's work tomorrow but then again uh, uh, you can support the channel, of course, by buying buying us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Nidolito. Also, you can... Also, I'm turning Korean. Also, uh, you can support the channel, this channel, by subscribing and uh, following so that you can be up to date to our activities day to day and week to week. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can uh, watch our past live streams and uh, you can get the highlights for our games and also past cooking cooking videos so there will also be new content on the youtube page let's just be patient a little bit because we're a bit busy because we're working so anyway <laughs> thank you everyone for watching thank you poetic wine for sponsoring this episode this episode would not be uh would not be existing without you so first and foremost so thank you again thank you for uh thank you for the tuna and the ingredients uh, thank you for the support on the channel thank you for the gifted subs thank you for believing in the channel so i hope you enjoy our future live streams more <sighs> I don't know why it's tiring to eat. <sighs> so, thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. We are gonna read another channel in a little bit. So, also thank you for thank you to Jam uh, Seafood Supply, uh, shouting them out. So just contact them on Facebook if you need uh, tuna, fresh tuna, frozen tuna. Fresh salmon, right? Uh, uh, fresh salmon, frozen salmon, sashimi, sushi, it's all there. So uh, just go to their Facebook page. That's J A A M. That's uh, again J A A M. Seafood Trading. So they have a store here in Pubao. And I think when I had it picked up by Lala Move, it took just around five minutes to get from there to here. So it's, very, it's pretty close. So if you are in need or just craving for some sushi, they have very comp competitive prices and the highest quality. Thank you everyone and see you on the next stream. Let us choose who to ring. <laughs> okay, but going thank you. Thank you, Herschel. I hope you enjoyed the Tenola. I wish I could uh wish I could uh, send some to you. <clears throat> okay, um, there's only one one streamer and he's playing Phasmophobia, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna read this, but at least it would help him. So let's just read Altruistic. If you want uh, to watch, watch Phasmophobia while we are taking a break, uh, go ahead and go over to the stream and say hi. So we, can, we are starting a raid now in uh, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, okay, thank you guys for watching and see you on the next stream, bye bye, oh pardon me for seconds pa pala ako, <laughs> bye guys, see you on the next stream, So thanks, uh, God of the Cake.
So, uh, medyo malaki uh, na stream yung fast mo. Kasi lang yung nagla-live stream niya. Basically what happened was a guy came out to the house about two weeks after we signed up and then this is the part that's going to be kind of screwy with the apartment. <laughs> 